Hello and welcome to episode 11 of the Epic Film Challenge 2, A Thousand and One Movies You Must See Before You Die. It's a short one. It's a 16 minute long film called Hold Me While I'm Naked from 1966, I believe. I'll just double check that fact. Yes, it's from 1966. It is directed and stars uh, George Kuchar and uh, yeah, it's an underground film. Uh, it's very short, uh, it's shot on 16mm in colour and George Kuchar is an interesting character. Um, I watched an interview with him just to have some kind of background information before I make this video on the guy. Uh, he's a guy who, growing up in the 50s, he had a, a love of film. He loved Hollywood films, these big budget ones, and, uh, and wanted to make his own movies. Um, but the problem is he, he didn't like the idea of being responsible for all the money that goes along with making the films that he loved. Um, he felt like he would, he would, be, he would crack under pressure with that, uh, that it would be too much. And also he didn't like the idea of giving his actors um, you know, uh, an exact idea of what their character was going to be before they started filming. He likes to kind of uh, let it evolve itself, I suppose. Um, and also, uh, you know, I guess he didn't want to be bound by any kind of uh, restrictions. And he also said in the interview that he didn't want to um, be put under pressure to keep making hits. So what he turned to was an underground style, uh, a very lo-fi style of making films, um, which, you know, I could literally pick up my phone and make the same kind of films that he was making uh, in terms of quality. Uh, picture quality and stuff like that. Um, in fact, it would be even better, but um, watching this film hold me while I'm naked uh, For the first five minutes. I thought this is absolute dog shit. It was terrible. I didn't get it. I didn't enjoy it It didn't look good. Uh, there was a couple of moments in there But I just wasn't digging it so I stuck with it and by the end of it I kind of saw what he was going for the film is kind of about uh, and he stars in the film as the kind of main character uh, and I'm pretty sure it's him anyway um, where it's a, he's a film director who's struggling to make a film uh, based on the fact that his own sexual desire is getting in the way of him making his film uh, and expressing himself, I suppose, that's what this film is about. It's very, um, it's very hard to get into and very strange, you know, there'll, there'll be multiple uh, takes of the same scene over and over again. You get to realize it's him directing it, but then there's, you know, uh, the dialogue has been done later, it doesn't match the lips in, in, in certain instances. I mean, it just reeks of um, amateur, you know, uh, the acting isn't great. There's a couple of really good shots in there, actually, that I like, but there's other shots where it literally looks like a, an 80s... VHS camcorder recorded thing where he's just holding a camera vlog style and walking down a park uh, And it didn't feel very filmic at all um, There's a very interesting kind of scene that gets called back later with a bird that he pulls down from a tree and gives a kiss uh, And there's definitely a reveal at the end that kind of says something about him and it's kind of a bit of an amb ambiguous ending I suppose uh, and there's a lot of kind of sexual stuff in the film, uh, women with their breasts out and him kind of directing sex scenes, I suppose. Uh, but as far as the actual sex scenes themselves, nothing uh, that uh, racy, just the fact that you get to see these women's breasts. Uh, that's the only thing that, that kind of um, uh, stands out as being, uh, you know, not for kids, I suppose. It's not... Um, what you would consider maybe like a softcore kind of porn film, which, you know, from the thumbnail of the video, it certainly seemed like that. It was freely available on YouTube, that's the way I decided to watch it, and the thumbnail certainly made it look like a CD um, softcore porn film, but it wasn't that. Um, and I, f I found it interesting at the end of it, and after I'd also looked him up, he's someone who kind of um, was very into just making videos. And I very much feel like he's someone who would have slotted right into the YouTube community. Um, he passed away a few years ago, um, but I mean, he's literally made like these hour-long videos, just called like Weather Diary Number Five, and it's very kind of it seems like stream of consciousness kind of stuff, and very, uh, very much his own thing. And he does what he likes, and doesn't make films for anyone else. It seems like so. The film Hold Me While I'm Naked. Um, let's just get to the brass tacks of it. How, how what would I rate the film? It's really hard to rate, it really is. Um, I could see some of what he was going for and I found it interesting by the end, but for me, it's 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 about a six out of 10, you know. Uh, it's, it's with merit. I can see why people like it, I can see why it's talked about, definitely. Um, but I, I just, um, it didn't really fully click with me. Uh, I didn't really fully enjoy it. And also, it's time to kind of talk about 
the, the you know what I talk about in every one of these videos, even though I need to catch up with them. Uh, is it a film you must see before you die? No, no. I, I think you can skip it. Um, thanks for watching.